This is these are uh, four male anatheristic Colombian rainbow boas. It's going to be 1601, 1602, 1603, and 1604. This is male 1601, code M A N C R B 1601. Born on July 15th, 2016. Uh, mainly eating live, uh, still working on feeding frozen thawed, but whoever gets them. You know, you can switch them over too. Uh, I don't have a single Colombian rainbow adult that eats live. You know, they they're a lot better than a lot of ball pythons and other species. But uh, as babies, you know, we just kind of give them what they want to get them up and running. So male, 1601. This is male anatheristic Colombian rainbow boa 1602. All information identical to all of these. Birth date, parents. Oh, by the way, the parents for both the female and the male anatheristics, all uh, from anatheristic to anatheristic breeding. Again, some of you guys might have you got bad information back in the day, and you try and refer to these as ghosts. No, we we have the real. Uh, hypo gene in the country came in from Finland a couple years ago. I got uh, a group of them here. Uh, they're codoms, which is very cool. So we will be making real ghost Colombian rainbow bows in the future. Also, with the hypo gene in the country, it leads us to now make sun glows and and uh, snow glows and uh, yeah, just just anything with the hypo in it. So we're, there, there's a lot to do. I, I have six different mutations myself of the Colombian rainbow bows, and I'm sure there's a few other ones out there that people are working on proving out genetic. So tons, tons to do with this smaller uh, species. And, uh, a lot of fun, especially when them little baby teeth sink into your finger for a second. There you go, guys. 1602. Male anatheristic Colombian rainbow boa 1603. As I stated for the other two, and I guess I'll do it one more time because there will be somebody who will ask me these questions. Same parents, same birth date, same feeding. M-A-N-C-R-B-1603. Obviously with the albinos and the, uh, or the, uh, with the anneries, uh, we, people are working just to start making the double hats for snow with both the T negative and we also have a T positive albino so that's in the mix now and I mean there's we're literally just scratching the surface of what's out there I don't even know if there's a real designer or combination of different genes yet in the world of Colombian rainbow boa so there is a lot to do male 1603 This is male, anatheristic Columbian rainbow boa, 1604. He is the last of them. So there's four males for sale, and there are three females for sale. Beautiful, wonderful little critters. They only get lighter, too, with, uh, with age. Just really, really beautiful animals. And a lot of the, uh, lot of the side patterning kind of vanishes as they get older. So, but they never really become truly patternless. Uh, so, but we do have uh, we do have a line of truly patternless here, which uh, could be very exciting for making like snows and sun glows and stuff like that. With a sun glow, we might be able to make a who knows maybe a pure pure fluorescent orange snake from tip of nose to tip of tail with red eyes because it'll it'll be an albino as well. So a lot a lot of things we're shooting for down the road with this whole project. And even making a an anatheristic pattern. I mean, it might be like this powder blue gray pattern of snake. So that that's what we're gonna see what happens down the road. Male sixteen oh four.